our program has tradition of excellence in medical education and teaching the next generation of infectious diseases physicians. We have two tracks, the infectious diseases track and the infectious diseases critical care track. And uh, the infectious diseases fellowship is a two-year program and the infectious diseases critical care program is, is a three years in duration. The training in general is tough and busy. And one of the best advice I got when I was looking for a program is to look for a program that will be collegial and supportive. And our program here, including our program director and our attendings are very supportive and all in all very close to us. Our attendings offices is around our swamp. We just get out, go to them, just knock the door and ask them any questions we want. Dr. Rojas' office is always open to us. We never felt any boundaries between us as a trainees and Dr. Rojas as a program director. He's always willing to hear us and communicate very well with us. From day number one, you will be seeing patients. And a part of, of uh, medical education is see one, do one, teach one. And here we have the opportunity for the fellows to lead the teams. As attendings, we give autonomy to our fellows. They can lead uh, the teams during rounds, during bedside teaching, and I think that's excellent exposure for them. You know, our fellowship is really nice in a way that is very balanced between kind of like, it's not hard in a way that it's kind of overwhelming and people will get burned out, but at the same time, you get exposure to many of the pathologies. Since university, you get all these referrals from all around us, and we see great cases that the fellows can use to learn, but at the same time, it's not overwhelming in a way that you cannot, for example, go back and read about it, uh, and so on. I actually do a lot of research, mostly my research is in HIV and the fellows are kind of like sometimes they could take part of the research that we are already doing. We have done, for example, during COVID we had vaccine research and they also can uh, participate in that. So really there are a lot of opportunities for research. It depends on their interest. If they want, the opportunities are there. Even though we're in the middle of Missouri, in central Missouri, we have a phenomenal, what we call catchment area, or the patient population that we see. Multiple different diseases, diverse things. We see a great distribution of kind of the common things, and we also see a lot of rare disorders as well. So to me, it's a great mix for education. Phenomenal. Maybe people wouldn't expect it to be here, but it, but it is. And so in that setting, you get a lot of great different patients, and the physicians here really are dedicated to teaching. And, and so I find that the whole faculty spends kind of one-on-one -on -one time with our, our fellows in, in order to help them proceed. During my two years of training, or almost two years of training so far, I have worked with many uh, attendings in ID, and I can tell that our attendings at University of Missouri have different sub-speciality interests in ID, and that adds a lot of experience to the trainees in the way that our attendings try to mimic their interest and reflect that in the clinics they do every week whether it can be prosthetic joint infections, hardware-associated infections, infections in oncology patients, bread and butter cases. We have the luxury of seeing patients across the street at the VA hospital, so it's a very well-rounded training for fellows. I can guarantee you that if they join our program, they will be very well-trained clinicians. They will know what to do, no matter the complexity of the case, no matter the challenge.